We're here with Rich and Dan to talk all things Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Welcome guys and thank you very much for joining us because today we're going to get a sneak peek at Warrior's Trial. Can you tell us what we're going to look at just in a moment because uh, I know we're all big to Tomb Raider fans Absolutely. here. I'm, we were talking about this actually right before we went live. Just a few weeks left, yeah? You guys got to be excited. We are very excited. We, we cannot wait for fans around the world to get their hands on Shadow of the Tomb Raider. It's been a labor of love for us and we know that they want to be there for Lara Croft's defining moment, so we can't wait for them to play. Absolutely. So you have to take us through the trial. We don't have to be roll with us, but take us through what those trials are. So Shadow of the Tomb Raider is all about bringing the tombs to the most terrifying level that they've ever been, and the Warrior's Trial is an amazing example of that, because you have to remember Lara Croft is at the height of her skills. She is the most capable, the most calculating she's ever been. So in order for there to be a challenge, we have to dial up everything else. So the tombs, the combat, the traversal, everything has to be even harder to give you a challenge, to give Lara a challenge. So Warrior's Trial is all about delivering that challenge. And the Warrior's Trial for us, when we start thinking about it at the beginning, it was all about, you know, when we talk about a rise about deadly tombs, the, the tomb needs to be more dangerous. In this case, for Warrior's Trial, is a perfect example of everything tries to kill you. Even the things that you interact with try to kill you. And the interesting part of that, of that tomb, the actual tomb that you're gonna see, it's, it's really a mechanism. You know, it's a mechanism coming from the ground. This is something we push. We have one guy on the team that built it, all that with, the, you know, with some Lego, so physically building it. And they did a lot of research to make sure that what we're showcasing, even though it looks like technologies that they could use the Mayan at the time, they didn't do it because we're stretching reality, <laughs> but they, they had the technology to do that. Whatever it was with hydro, you know, with uh, hydraulic and things like that, it was really possible. So this is very exciting to show. We, yeah. we do have some gameplay as well, which we're going to take a quick look at as well. Um, so should we kind of throw this on? So what, what are we seeing here? It's on the top. Yeah. So of course we have to start with the high dive, right? It's the fan favorite. The of course. We love letting Lara go full 360 degree movement underwater. So we start just by letting people know that if you explore enough, you may find even a challenge tomb underwater. Because underwater survival is a key part of Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Rise of the Tomb Raider, you were just paddling around the surface, you could submerge just a little bit. Now this is full on claustrophobic, manage your oxygen, that scares me because I remember the first time I wandered in the last Tomb Raider game, I wandered too far into a cave expecting to find a tomb and I found a bear instead. And I, <laughs> I already heard you mention everything yeah. wants to kill yes. you. Everything and does, and, and that's the same thing with underwater, where you've got moray eels, you've got piranhas, you've got crevasses, you've got to squeeze through. Lara doesn't have an oxygen tank, so again, you don't know if what's waiting on the other side. It might just be your death. That's kind of terrifying. So we were pushing the spelunking experience. We we kind of like experienced that with on Rise of Tomb Raider. In this case, we push it a lot. And one of the place, the only place on Earth that is not fully discovered, it's all these underground caverns. And in this game, we wanted to push that even further. So having going underwater, yes. you know, not knowing if you're going to have enough air or not knowing what's going to happen next, but finding a tomb, you know, it's very rewarding. So that was super important for us. And you and talk about fan favorites. One of my favorite parts, me being the fan of the series that I am. <laughs> I loved getting towards what I thought was the end of the tomb, and the floor would suddenly give out from me, and we had yes. that sequence, that animation, where I'm uncontrollably sliding to and what I hoped was not certain doom. We're absolutely delivering even bigger challenge tombs, so I think you're gonna like that, because before, the, the challenge tombs were great little, you know, smaller areas, but now the crypts are as big as what the challenge tombs used to be in Rise of the Tomb Raider, and now the challenge tombs are as big as the regular tombs. Also, what are we uh, starting to see here? Because we're coming up to the end of the gameplay kit. Right, so right now, what you're seeing is another example of all the pieces that Lara has to interact with yeah. actually being dangerous as well. You saw that she cut her arm on one of the inactive traps. That's to let you know that those obsidian blades are still gonna kill you. So of course, there are traps in the tombs, but there are also just puzzle pieces that if you fail to interact with them correctly, will kill you. So this is, right now, we've never shown anything beyond this oh moment. God. So this is the first time that you're gonna get to see how you have to interact with the different puzzle elements of the Warrior's Trial. And you can see that this is filled with spinning contraptions, blades, flames, everything trying to stop Lara from reaching the secret. You seriously weren't joking when you said everything's been like up to notch, but that's spinning flame. 
It looks incredible. I love that if the camera cut back right now, they'd see Benny and I hunched over watching this gameplay reveal yeah. for the first time <laughs> with everybody else. Like, we're super excited for this. Well, we love, we love, and thank you, we, lo we love making it feel like Lara has to earn the secrets of the world. You know, if you think about Shadow of the Tomb Raider, just like every other game in, in the Tomb Raider series, it is always about the world being a character that is pushing against Lara to protect its secrets. Yeah. And so, if Lara's at the height of her skills, the world pushes back harder than ever. So things like this challenge tomb are there to protect the skills that you unlock by reaching the center. I'm excited. I know Benny's certainly excited. I want to thank you both so much for joining us. Just a few short weeks away. We're almost there, yeah? Remember, X